Hey everyone. It is Liam Caddison here. We're on episode 16 for season 5 of Angel. It's been two weeks since the last episode for me, which is probably needed because... Ugh, I mean, what is to say about the last episode, right? Pain. Pain all over. Didn't need that episode. Didn't need to be tormented with essentially the death of my favourite character, even though we're going to have Amy Akers still involved in this. Not the same. Now that Illyria has uh, emerged. You know, what did I do to, to deserve this, right? Uh, anyways, um, yes, we're on episode 16 of season 5. Um, I am... Yeah, this... Uh, I am not expecting to laugh or... I don't know anything in terms of uh, admitting a joyful atmosphere in terms of this episode because obviously we ended on a very, very bleak ending and there's going to be the repercussions of that. So, yeah. I'm fine. I am really, really fine. Let's get into episode number 16 of season 5 of Angel. Let's go. Not the humans would have long died out by now. Instead, you're grown bold. Yeah, you slept and they so you don't know developed. Nor care. Bleed at me no longer. We're done. Yes. We are. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yo, what the fuck? Now I remember. When for take... is the shell I'm in. Only takes a whack to the head, I guess. She's the woman you killed. They'll kill each other off. And you can return to the world you deserve. I mean, I always say humanity's in a constant civil war. You seek to save what's rotted through. This carcass is bound to me. I could not change that if I cared to. Shit. Open my eyes to truth. If the world is truly overrun by humans. Can't even get drunk. <sighs> Why would anyone ever make a bottle this small? <laughs> <laughs> it's so we can pretend to be giants. Thousands would have died if we'd saved them. Fred's gone. <laughs> I want to strangle him. I'm, I'm going to strangle him. Just, um, it's not what you think. It, it's, it's beautiful. D tell them. Tell them what happened. You know what would be beautiful? Beautiful. You choking on your the own infection. blood. Illyria consumed her. Perfect woman I ever met. That's why I chose her. No, fuck She's you. She's the only one that was worthy. Wes. Do it. No, no. We need him. I know how you feel. You know. You didn't feel her die. Oh. She was shaking with pain and terrified and so brave. Willow. Won't be the first time she rattled her dead. Last time I heard she was in South America. Then we'll track her down and get here as soon as we can. In the meantime, we need to contain... We're gonna have Willow area. back here, please! Wes, you're the only one who had contact. Any idea where she's headed? Hey! Oh! Come back here, you little... I, I mean, it's Nox. Who oh gives a shit? Fred? There's nothing I can do about that. But I can. Oh, no. Okay. Himalayas. I Did she, she just... South America. I've got a branch in Tibet. I've got a couple of Sherpas. All right, look. Okay. What do you mean she's not on this plane? You just said astral projection. Well, is there any way to get her astral over to L.A.? Giles, this I... is an emergency. I want Willow no, here. No, I'm not going... Yeah. she just give herself a new uniform? Cool. Cool. I'm ready to begin. Or we could just hang out. A warrior. 
I was beginning to wonder if this world was void of your kind. Plenty of us to go around, love. Oh, yeah, this is not gonna work. And I promise, we won't destroy you taking it back. Your choice. I don't think she's gonna bite to that. Yeah. Holy sh- Oh my! Take her. <laughs> Bloody- Oh, what the heck is- Illyria! What, what a callback to the first episode, though, for Angel. <laughs> Except she didn't exactly flame up. Maybe she really is. No. And I lost Cordelia because some thing violated her. Crawled inside, used her up. Kind of like deja vu. In hell. Am I letting that happen again? I just feel like Spike is on the right track, sadly, and I want to have hope. She was just curious. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be macabre. But you know what they say about curiosity. Same for incoming calls. What about missed calls? Knox couldn't have erased him if he didn't have his lady phone on him. Three in the last few hours. Harm! All from the chin. Everything she was is gone. Fuck. Forever. <sighs> For better or worse, you made a deal, Mr. Gunn. I suggest you learn to live with it. Oh, no! Is there something you'd like to tell me? Oh, about? no! Permanent, so I signed a piece of paper. It was a customs release form. I didn't think anyone would get hurt. Nothing from Wolfram and Hart is ever free. Yeah. You knew that. I couldn't go back. But he wanted to be something Being more. just the muscle, I... More than muscle. I didn't think it would be one of us. But you knew what was happening to her. You knew who was responsible and you didn't say anything. But he was he feeling guilt. Oh my god! Holy shit! I'm less forgiving about that. Holy shit! What the hell did you do? What I had to. I don't remember seeing stabbed gun on the. There was a way to save Fred. But it was the lives Only of the many. of others died in her place. I... As much as I love Fred, I couldn't let that happen. And Fred wouldn't allow it. Her army of doom. There's a shock. They were entombed with her, huh. waiting for her return to Los Angeles. This is where her temple was millions of years ago, and it's still here. Oh, you think I would have remembered seeing uh, something next to the Ralphs? It's out of phase with <laughs> our time stream. Oh, Only okay. Because a thousand other reasons that don't mean a damn because she's gone. She's gone. It didn't need to be more than the bronze. She's not coming back. Because of me. I did this. <sighs> And I'm sorry. He's got to live with that guilt for the rest of his life. I'm sorry. I would fight for his life, just like any other humans. Because that's what people do. That's what makes us. Wes just took no chances, and you know what? Were you even listening? Wesley doesn't care. You know what? I'm very, very sad right now. You destroyed my Quahazan. Yeah. Whoa! Can we not double team? Although I think she'll. Yeah, there we go. What's the rush? Oh my god! That was so cool! How? From your sarcophagus. It's connected to you. I'm connected to it. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh. No. Oh no. Well, ain't that the didums? Now you know how I feel. Oh, my Wes.
Ah, oh, shit. But this is important. Spike, kudos to him. Fred gave her life for it. Least I can do is give what's left to man. You just love him. The fight's coming, Angel. I sleep. Why can I stay? No. Stop! Don't do that. Leave. I've nowhere to go. My kingdom is long dead. I mean, that's a you problem for taking over an innocent um, cherub. There's so much I don't understand. That after everything, you can still be surprised. Is that enough? Is that enough to live on? Oh, this is really, really powerful. It's like she's driving off into the sunset, isn't it? There we go. That is sadly beautiful and just pain. Fred just leaving. Just like that. Because there is that acceptance that she is not fully coming back. I mean, it seems like Illyria needs a bit of um, a helping hand in a... Um, it, you know, it could just all fall apart, but... There is that acceptance. There was that hope, like, all throughout that there has to be a way to get her back. Death is never... Like, with the Buffyverse, death is not the end. Angel had that. Um, Spike had that. Buffy had that. There's got to be a way, but there are just little bits and pieces. Um, just like smashing a cup completely, there will be fragments of it, but you could never... Well, if you, if you smash it hard enough to the point where it's irreparable, it can never be the same thing again. And that's the thing with Illyria, I guess little fragment, but she's not coming back. And I think that ending shot is very, 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 very poignant. And, uh, you know, you had, you, I, I really love the idea that, the, like, you had that Wesley Illyria talk and you, um, and obviously there was a, there was a bit of grief for Illyria, for Wesley, but what is grief if not love persevering, right? So, and you know what this I, I said that that last episode of Angel it was just bringing me vibes of actually you know what I, I think I said the last episode of Angel was bringing me vibes of the Buffy this is season 5 wasn't the body episode 16 actually because that would have been one hell of a coinky dink of, uh, of season five of Buffy, should I say. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a look at it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The body. I think it's episode um, six. Yeah, it was episode 16 of season five. So just an episode off. Um, and you had the aftermath of... Um, that episode in episode 17 which was really really sad and and i felt like there were similar vibes with this episode in a sense if uh this is you you know the angel if uh, a hole in the world is the i guess angel equivalent of the body um yeah so oh i i'm i i'm in pain well, that was, uh, that was a trip, and it was a really great episode, um, and a good, 
continuation of um how um devastating that episode was uh well the last episode was should i say uh it was um like i said very devastating and had essences of the episode after the body but also um there were little authentic pieces that i think the uh that episode of buffy um i guess did not showcase if that makes sense um because we had some fun moments and uh like, well, I say fun moments. We had some light-hearted moments. And um, not just that, though, but we had a bit of world-building with uh, Illyria and how she was associated to the Old Ones, knows about Wolfram and Hart, and how, I guess, puny they were uh, back in the day, of course, because we know that they have a very, very long history. Um, so yeah, we, we not just focused on the grief and the hope and the denial, I guess, uh, we were going through quite a few stages, weren't we? Uh, I think we went through all of the stages. I mean, I know Gunn had that bargaining, um, scenario where he was, um, willing to make himself into a vegetative state in order to bring Fred back. Um, so we, I, I feel like we pretty much had all of the stages of, of, um, death being flared up in uh, this episode so yeah but we had quite a bit of that we had quite a bit of um um we had yeah we had all of the um world building we had all of the emotions we had all of the i guess light-hearted moments like we had spike and harmony just um yeah bringing a bit of levity to the situation so yeah um but yeah, it was really, really, uh, yeah, emotional. Like, I, especially with uh, the change uh, in scenario, seemingly that Illyria is going to have. Um, she's wanting to have um a place in the world. Her world is gone. Um, I am very intrigued to see how that goes because I was expecting Illyria to be the um, um, I guess main antagonist for the season, but it's or unless things just go off the rails, which it could still happen. Um, yeah. Um, I guess she is not considered an antagonist, and she's just lost in this world. Um, so yeah. And uh, if anything, you could say obviously with uh, Fred being uh, the shell. Um, in this instant, um. I guess you could say with Illyria's scenario, um, sh there's almost that shell essence, isn't there? Um, because obviously, um, before uh, last time she walked the earth, humans, of course, were not as evolved, and and uh, she was um more in control, and she had an army ready. She she had she had everything. This time around, she is um as as powerful as she was with her abilities and all that jazz there is that powerlessness there is almost like a shell essence uh, uh compared to i guess last time and uh, she's all alone in this world so hence going to wesley and um trying to find i guess this acceptance you could say if we're going to go for the stages of grief um because her army had gone and uh she was lost and uh there had to be this acceptance of walking with the, in uh, within this world all alone, and she had well, I would she thought she was alone, and then she turns to Wesley. So, yeah, but I gotta say, Amy Acker and Alexis they did superb in terms of their acting. Um, I was really really impressed with um Amy's um shift in terms of her act because obviously Illyria is going to be different but uh, there was there was definitely a the day and night difference in regards to uh Amy's abilities of acting and how sinister it was and um uh, yeah just just how chilling it was and then of course Alexis did a superb job in showcasing um that torment that um devastation the grief that he was going through yeah so, yeah, it was, I, I just felt so blown away with uh, qu quite a few, uh, quite a lot of the moments, really. Um, whether it be he, him reacting to Gunn or, or him just being so desperate to have Fred back. It was, and, and, and just the pain on his face. And even that final bit with Illyria and um, 
and Wesley. Uh, that was really, really good, especially when they were, um, when they were, of course, both going through their uh, grief and um, uh, that they had that talk about how there was love and there was hope. Um, I thought that was really, really well done. So, yeah, uh, props to them too, especially. But, yeah, it was just really, really... Um, it was a really sad episode. And I don't think it's... Uh, like, Fred, I loved her so much. Uh, as I said in the last episode, that she was my favourite character. And uh, I don't think it's something that I can... Uh, as much as Illyria is, is trying to adjust to this world... Um, I don't think I, uh, it, it, it would take quite a bit of time to, to adjust because I was, well, not just so accustomed with Fred, but Fred was my favorite. So yeah. Um, uh, but it will be very, very interesting because I did have hope that there would be uh, a kind of a blend with Fred and Illyria. And whereas... Uh, getting Fred back is out of the uh, out of the um question. There are little bits of fragments with uh Fred, and there is not just that though, but Illyria's, um, um, yeah, she wants to adjust to this new world, and it's going to be very interesting to see how that does happen. So. Um, this might this might have her be a better person, and uh, not just that though, but um, it it might. Well, I don't. I yeah. I I I don't know how it's gonna pan out for 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 Illyria because it could go sideways. But this could be a change for the better for her. But we'll just have to wait and see. Because like I said, things could just fall apart as they quite often do with the Buffy first, so but the main goal is she might try to become a better person. Uh times have changed and um who she is right now um you could say is a shell of uh um what she used to be. Um obviously she as I've said, she talks about Fred being a shell. But given how she was so anticipating for her army and for herself to uh, walk this world and um, uh, how she was associated to the old ones and how she stood tall. And now she's got nothing and uh, want, uh, has to adjust to this new world. It's it's like a shell of, of her former self in a sense. So, yeah, but... There were quite a few characters that went through their, I guess, shell phases. Wesley, for example, um, we saw the old him come out. Well, I say the old him come out. That's more so reflecting on the goofy character that he was in season three of Buffy. Um, but more so, I'm talking about um, how dark he was uh, during season four, especially of, um, of Angel. And, you know, he went through so many agonizing moments. Like, he, he, I mean, he shot Knox, but I don't think anyone really can blame him for that. And uh, not just that, though, but you think back to um, Lineage, I think it was, um, when his father, he didn't know he was a robot at the time as well. So for all intents and purposes, it was his father, 100% him. And he shot him because of uh, how threatening he was to Fred. So for him to have a hostile reaction to not just Knox, who was so happy and uh, that Illyria walked and Fred was the perfect candidate for Illyria to walk again. You know, it's not really surprising, is it, in terms of how he reacted? Um, not just that, though, but Knox is a sick piece of shit and not just that though but gun as well when he stabbed um gun so yeah um i was really really um scared during that scene uh in regards to what wesley would do because um i did speak about how ballistic wesley was going to be to gun once he would find out that um gun got the sarcophagus through customs and um yeah, that was uh, the price he had to pay, really. Uh, all because he want he uh, all because Gun wanted to be um a part of something, and the sad irony is um 
because uh, I think he um has um departed from Wolfram and Hart. Um given how well i'll go into that in a minute but um yeah um i was really really scared what wesley was going to do because like as i said he was going to go ballistic and um yeah um he went there but as i mentioned i don't think it's any real surprise given the fact that without hesitation he shot his father um for for threatening fred and Gunnar Knox being, I guess you could say, responsible for um the departure of Fred. Yeah, that was not going to sit... Like, Wesley was not going to um relax, um, especially when with um the idea that Fred was gone for good. There was no way to um bring her back. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah, Wesley exposed a bit of his season four self there when, with him... Um, stabbing um, Gunner. You know, at least he, I, I was kind of low-key worried that he was going to go ballistic a- against Angel as well, because Angel did take some responsibility in regards to Fred's death. But I think um, in regards to the lives of the many versus the lives of the few, um, you know, Fred would not want that. And I think Wesley understands that. And not just that, though, but um, Angel went off against him for stabbing Gunn. And it's one of those moments where you just react, especially with the with the grief that Wesley is going through. So, um, yeah, but oh, I I will say, like, obviously, with this episode, they were trying to find ways of uh, bringing Fred back, and uh, you know, there was always me having a bit of hope, but also keeping my expectations low because this um this you know buffy and angel they like to hurt me and there was that moment where they called giles which you know i was so hoping that willow would make an emergence in um, the later episodes especially since um she at this point would be married to alexis and she still is i believe but um they just married at this point um so yeah but um yeah, I was so hoping that Willow would, you know, come. But, yeah, she's in her astral protect, uh, pro- projection form, seemingly. So, yeah. Although, I will say, how great would it be? Now, this is like a... um, this is, You know you know how you have death battles? um, How you have two characters who are so um fitting to fight against each other, etc.? Well, we know how how compatible Fred and Willow are in terms of, like, the wholesomeness and uh, how, like, even I was, um, like, with last season's episode 15, um, I was just, you know, so happy with Fred and Willow interacting. I was, it was, it was like the dream combo. So what about Dark Willow versus Illyria? That would be very, very interesting. Um. And you know what? I I I think Illyria would win, uh, given the fact that um, her abilities um, are part of very ancient times, a part of the old ones. So I think Illyria would win that. But still, how good would it be to have Dark Willow and Illyria just um, go against each other? What would be even worse if they teamed up? Given how Willow was. You know, uh, Dark Willow was very, very uh, close to um, fucking shit up um, in season six of Buffy. That would be a doomsday scenario. So <laughs> I kind of want that to happen. I, I'm i I'm sick for saying that, but I kind of want Dark Willow and Illyria <laughs> to team up and... T- yeah, no, but um, I I was low key sad. Um, and not just that though, but it seems like Giles and Co. Buffy, they still don't want anything to do with um Angel, given the fact that he's associated to Wolfram and Hart. So, which is understandable. I don't think uh, anything has really changed between the events of uh damage in this episode. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, it was just really really sad seeing everyone just try to find a way angel was very very um um adamant that there was a way and yeah spike sadly um yeah had that moment where he 
kind of um realized that this might not be a reversible scenario that Fred might be gone. So, but what I also really love the idea that he's sticking by with Wolfram and Hart and showing his change as well. So, you know, Spike, I am really, really loving um what he is doing in terms of sticking by with Wolfram and Hart, etc. So, yeah, but yeah um this was really really great and uh, uh i love like i said there was a uh, a few le um moments with a bit of levity in regards to um harmony i you know harm was just really delightful and spike with the um bottles of jack daniels as well like trying to distract this pain um but i also really um loved the idea of um um, and Spike just, uh, like I said, I, him sticking by Wolfram and Hart, but considering Fred did everything and everything, uh, anything and everything, should I say, in regards to trying to make him corporeal, um, he's sticking by um, and trying to do justice for Fred. So I really, really do like reflecting back earlier this season and looking right now and thinking about Spike sticking around. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, Gun. Because um, I wanted to get on um, in on um, his side of things with the fact that um, there, of course, is a lot of guilt. And, um, yeah. Um, obviously, he... Yeah, it was not going to go down well with him trying uh, keeping things on the hush-hush in regards to being um, partially responsible for Fred um dying so yeah um and yeah obviously we know that he um has been going through a bit of um deterioration in terms of the whole wolfram and heart knowledge shenanigans uh and he got a permanent fix for that but obviously as established there would be a price and the price was fred and um yeah um it's a scenario of Gun, yeah. I mean, obviously, he wanted to become more than just the brawn, and you know, I can understand that. And there's there's now a lot of regret in regards to um, him choosing to um, become more than just the brawn. Um, so yeah, especially with the fact that he wanted to find a place. Uh, a place in the world, I guess you could say. And um, now it seems like he is departing from Wolfram and Hart because of him trying to find a place in the world. There is that irony, I guess. So, um, because, um, um, yeah, he, he, him wanting a place in the world has now casted him out. So, um so yeah, I I felt like that was a uh, a very very interesting moment because um, um, him saying that um how he wanted a place to kind of belong that's how I kind of felt like um uh, that's how I kind of felt like his um the papers he was given it was him just departing uh, because there's a lot of that guilt and uh, uh there is a lot of that regret about how he wanted to become he wanted a place to belong he wanted a place in the world. Um, and now he's paying for his own consequences. I mean, he already suffered a consequence in terms of Fred, but now he is, um, taking that guilt and, uh, I, I don't want to say owning it, but you get the idea. So, yeah. Um, and, you know, going back to Wolfram and Hart would be very, very difficult given, um, the scenario. I mean, uh, Harmony was the only one who seemingly wanted to come down. So, yeah, going back to Wolfram and Hart, that would just be very, very awkward as fuck. So, yeah, especially seeing Aluria and, um, Wesley after he, you know, gutted him. So, yeah, but, um, it was just very, very... Um, interesting going for good story and as uh yeah like i said um having that feeling that wesley was just going to go off it so 
Yeah, but um, I didn't expect him to stab him, to be fair. But as I, I did expect him to just go off it with um, gun, but I didn't expect a, a physical stabbing. Yeah, would would happen. So yeah, um, so yeah, but I felt like this was a um, uh, a really really great episode. Like I said, Illyria, um, getting her fully fleshed out in terms of her character and the law behind her as well was well. I wouldn't say fully fleshed out, but um, getting her character fleshed out and um, leaving her in this um bit of a pickle. Very very great stuff. Um, and, you know, it's, it was just very, very interesting that we ended the episode with Illyria being stranded with her army being gone. Um, I guess you could say that was her hole in the world. Uh, if we're going back to the last episode, um, uh, because she was stranded and she turns to Wesley and, um, um, she now has to adjust. So, um. Yeah, um, that is a pretty, pretty, uh, um, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty devastating blow. But I did love, uh, like I said, Amy's um, acting, especially with how she was very, very disgusted with the world and uh, how she disregarded the humans, etc. So, um, yeah, so it was just really, really uh, great to see a bit of that and... Um, end on this note where she is feeling lost and she needs a new purpose in life um so yeah because what she was before she is now a shell uh, that that's now a shell isn't it really so yeah kind of like how fred wa uh, was for Illyria. so yeah but brilliant brilliant stuff in terms of acting especially from alexis and um and amy um very sad stuff but like I said, I'm really, really glad that this episode, um, from, um, um, yeah, this episode was really, really, um, different in terms of, um, the post episode after the body for Buffy, because, um, whereas that focused, um, I, 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 I can't, I, it's been quite some time, but that was totally throughout for me pain um um and um it was just very very devastating whereas there was some light hearted moments uh, a bit of levity to the situation and we got a bit of focus in terms of um the law it wasn't just um total grief for 40 odd minutes um but there was quite a bit of that and i really like the balancing of that so that was pretty pretty great so yeah but um it's uh not just that though but um uh, there is that curiosity in terms of what's going to happen next, because like I said, I I had Illyria pegged as the uh, antagonist for the remaining episodes of Angel, but it seems like that's not going to be the case. There is just this emptiness for Illyria, and um, she now needs a purpose for this world. So it does add that curiosity in terms of um, future episodes, so... Yeah, it should be pretty, pretty interesting stuff to see uh, where the remaining episodes of Angel go. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!